So my goal is to make a tier 1 tank. Uh, this was my first attempt, and I tried to add these wings to make it balance, and it ended up uh, starting off sideways, so it didn't work out so well. Uh, so then I went into the lab, and uh, I started putting together some pretty good stuff. Um, I added on uh, wheels uh, to be spread out a little more to balance the weight out, and my hope was that uh, with the, the balanced weight, that um, it'd be able to handle the heaviness of my tank very heavily. And... Um, yeah, what happened after was not so good. So with the wheels adjusted, as you can see, I wasn't even able to climb a, a hill of any size at all, any kind of slope. Uh, I was just way too heavy for the amount of power that my wheels had. So I bought a slightly better wheel, tried it out, and boom shakalaka, um, I was able to climb mountains, which was great. But then I started running into a new problem. With the way this was working out, my wheels were actually just too exposed uh, and just too out there and easy targets and so I'd always just lose my wheels and I'd become heavily immobile in some of the worst possible locations. So for me to be able to build a heavy tank, I would actually have to start from the ground up. So starting from the ground up, I decided I had to mix in some lighter materials and some heavier materials. The lighter materials would be uh, less exposed, the heavier materials would be more exposed. And uh, my thought was that if I rush into a battlefield as a tank, I should be able to hit, take hits from all sides. So I have to be able to cover uh, a full block, basically, and make it basically a block mobile. Um, I layered off quite a few blocks everywhere. I ended up having three wheel axes, that's six tires. And I also put a booster um, on the back because my big intention was I'm only going forward. I'm never going backwards because I'm a heavy tank. Heavy tanks do not run away. Um, and I also put on a, a large flotilla of guns just so that people know this thing has a lot of firepower. So in practical use this tank alignment actually did quite well. Uh, I was able to actually spin it around effectively to take hits from all sides so that I can balance out my damage properly while still being able to put a lot of punch back at people and I survived for quite a while. I started realizing very quickly though there was still one key innovation that I had missed in the past that I needed to implement. The tires were just not protected and as long as the tires were not protected it was very 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 easy to gimp this tank so I'd have to add in some heavy protection. So remembering that in the past we had very uh, potent weight concerns with this particular tank, I knew that I couldn't use heavy materials to build the siding for these tires. I would in fact have to use something very light. And so that's exactly what I did. And by using a lighter material, I was able to actually use uh, a lot more cover, which would la make this tire last far longer when being shot by multiple targets in a battlefield. And it would go on to perform very, very, very well. And so we are doing the final test. I want to have a heavy tank that can go straight through the middle, take a lot of hits, keep my teammates protected while dishing out a decent amount of firepower. I feel at the end of this very quick match that mission was definitely accomplished. This is Troublemakers Heavy Tank.